Well, most commercial airplanes don't fly at 1,500 feet in the middle of a glacier. And that's just the first of many things that separates this from other airplanes. Hello, I'm Michael Starobin aboard NASA's P-3B Orion. And if you want to understand how IceBridge operates in northern latitudes, you have to understand this airplane. P-3 is different from other planes. It's a large uh, four-engine turboprop. So we've got 75% uh, of the wing covered with, uh, with airflow. Uh, it gives us the ability to get down close to the glaciers. Uh, fly through them, and if we have to climb out in a hurry, we have that uh, we have the airlift capability because of those turboprops. Built in the 1960s, the P-3 originally took flight during the Cold War, but no dinosaur. This plane, NASA's high-tech workhorse, now pulls for science. Even its subdetection housing now holds a scientific magnetometer. Upgraded with 21st century special modifications, it's less a Cold War relic and more like the space agency's Millennium Falcon. It's got it where it counts, but travel by P-3B isn't like flying commercial. It's uh, fast, it's got a lot of power, um, and it's very tough. Uh, so we, we could take a beating out here with some turbulence coming off the ice sheet, sometimes down in the glaciers. Uh, and this is the, uh, by far the best plan for this mission. You actually wouldn't notice that this is uh, 50 years old. It's actually, uh, uh, it's got a future air navigation system uh, avionics suite in it, which uh, a lot of airlines don't have yet. Um, we've got synthetic vision, TAWS, uh, data link, uh, really a lot of stuff that even the, uh, the newest Navy P3s don't have. Even with high-tech avionics and a Top Gun crew, IceBridge flies low, and that keeps eyes on the flight deck wide open. I mean, when you're at altitude, you have more time to react to a malfunction. If I'm at 1,500 feet in a mountain environment, and I lose an engine or something catastrophic like that, the reaction time's a lot less. It's monstrously loud. Passengers must wear earplugs, and noise-canceling earphones are strongly advised. But what it lacks in comfort, it makes up for in capability. For IceBridge, the P3 is all about mapping, above the ice and below. To do that, it carries a symphony of sensors, and the best players to operate them in concert. NASA's Michael Studinger is their conductor. Here on the P3, a lot of different uh, science instruments in total we fly. 10 different instruments on this, on this aircraft. We have uh, several operators on the aircraft. In the morning, it's uh, minus 15 degree Fahrenheit outside. Uh, the airplane is very cold, the engines are very cold. But the uh, tremendous advantage we have from having flying 10 uh, different science instruments on, the, uh, on one single aircraft is we are collecting a very diverse set of uh, science data at the same time over the same spot on the uh, ice sheet in Greenland and that has a, a tremendous scientific value in kind of helping to understand what is happening to the Greenland ice sheet and how it's it, it is responding to uh, changes in uh, atmospheric temperatures, ocean temperatures and precipitation. To learn more about NASA's Operation Icebridge and the P-3B on which it flies, visit us on the web.